welcome to Have a Yarn with Charlie. I'm Charlie. Me. <laughs> um, today, I have uh, for you in this video is my version of a scrap yarn heart rug. Uh, it's a tutorial. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Now, in the video, you will see two types of um, yarn being used in different colors. In the beginning, I use Caron Simply Soft for the colors. They're brighter. I didn't For my scrap yarn, I had dark colors, and the camera did not like the dark colors. So halfway through, you're going to see me change to darker colors. Yeah. Um, so... Without further ado, let me tell you what we need and um, dogs, <laughs> and then we will get started. All right. So first off, you need your scissors. Yes. <laughs> now, with if you choose, you can choose any yarn you like, any yarn, any hook. Um, I'm going to tell you what I used in the video when I. I will actually show you uh, when I used the Caron Simply Soft, which is the smaller yarn. I used a 5.5. I know you can't see it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> My bad. I used a 5.5 with the Caron Simply Soft. If the holes are too big, go down in a go down a size. No problem. Um, for the scrap yarn that I had, that I used was the Bernat, Bernat, <laughs> Chunky, and Homeland. It is a size six, and these are the colors that you'll see later on in the video. Now. For the chunky yarn, I used the 7.0 millimeter. I know <laughs> the dog got to that one, <laughs> but it is the 7.0 millimeter um, for the chunky yarn. Like I said, you can use smaller if you'd like. I know I look tired. It's like nine in the morning. <laughs> All right, here we go. Without further ado. I guess you're tired of hearing me talk. Let's get to the heart. All right. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to make the slip knot. You can make it any way that uh, is comfortable for you. And... I hope you can see this okay. So we're going to start out with chaining 18. Now I'm going to do a couple and then uh, one. You can make them tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to go quick through these. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay. There we go. Let me get this out of here. Sorry about that. All right. Now I'm going to bring you in a little closer so you can see better what I'm doing. We're going to skip three of these chains and then we're going to do six double crochets into the fourth chain from the hook. So we skip, skip, skip and we yarn over, insert our hook into the fourth chain. I try to grab both if you can see it.
insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. Now we have three. Oop, come on. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. I'll do one more with you. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Now we have three. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So now we have two. Now we want six total. And I'm going to go a little faster here. That's three, four, five, and six. I know the white is reflecting. Um, now we're going to do one double crochet in the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. So same thing. Yarn over. Let's just make sure that we're stretching it and we find the next stitch, which is right here. So it's one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. It's two. Three, and four. And you can see how it's singles here, and then the, you had the six here. Now it's going to look kind of funky in a minute, but it'll all even out, I promise. Next, we're going to decrease five double crochets together. So we yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. And we have three on our hook. One, two, three. Yarn over and pull through two. Just like a regular double crochet, but we are not finishing that stitch. We have two now. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now we have four, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three. Now we're going to keep going five times in total. So this is number three. This is number four. And a good way if you lose track of where you are is to count the loops on your hook. And then the last one, number five, yarn over, pull through two, and we have, I'm using a small hook, it has a small neck, but we have one, two, three, four, five, and six loops on our hook. And we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops, just like that. And that is um, five double crochet decreases together. Now we're going to do one double crochet in the next four stitches. So let's find where our last decrease was, which was right here. So we're going to go into this one. These are normal double crochets, and it is English, uh, U.S. terms. That's one. It's two. It's three. And four. I just had a whole bunch of yarn come into my hand. <laughs> And we're tangled. One second. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, we have one more 
space left from our original 18 chains. So we have one chain left. We're going to do seven double crochets in this last stitch. Yes, seven. All right. And what I like to do is, um, instead of weaving this in later, I just kind of grab it and try to go around it with the stitches. But you can go slow if you have to. And on the next couple stitches, you'll be able to integrate that uh, under your stitches. So that was one. Two into the same stitch, three into the same stitch. I'm going to go a little faster now. Four, five. See now that I can somewhat get this under my stitches. Six and seven. I'm going to pull this out and I'm just going to double check. So we have the four single double crochets and now we count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, now you can see it kind of looks like a bird. <laughs> but I promise it will make sense in just a few moments. Okay, so let's pull this back down. I got a fuzzy somehow. Now, we're going to do one double crochet in the next uh, six stitches. So here's where we just did our like cluster and we're going to go into here this one so go there and this is where i pull more of that tail under so it gets locked in now i'm going to come up just a little bit there we go all right so that's one Two, three, oops, four, five, and six. Okay. So here's the six singles that uh, double crochets that we just did. Now we're going to increase. We're going to in this next stitch. We're going to make five double crochets into the same stitch right here. One, two. Three, four, and five. So we have five together. Now if I can find my <laughs> stitch markers. There we go. I have a special box that I painted myself for my stitch markers. Now we're going to this one, two, three, four, five. In this third one, one, two, three, we're going to mark with our stitch marker. Okay? And you'll see why later. Alright. So we just got done with the five double crochets into the same stitch. Now we're going to do one double crochet 
into the next six stitches. So let's find, here's that tail, actually. You can wait till the end or you can do it now. Since some of it's underneath it, I cut it off now. Okay. So look carefully. We just did here. This is our next stitch right here. And we're doing one double crochet into the next six stitches. That's two, three. I keep going out of camera view. I'm sorry. Four, five. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone off. I'm sorry. And six. And I'm going to mark just bear with me here. I'm going to mark on my uh, little thing here where to be into camera view. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. So in between there and I am good. Yes. Okay. All right, so we just did one double crochet into the six stitches, and now we're going to slip stitch to join. Now, remember we did, we skipped three stitches. I'm going to move you down so you can see. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Um, we do not count this as a stitch, so we're going to slip stitch into the top right here of our first stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to pull through the original stitch. And now, I'll come up. Now you can see that it's starting to look like a heart. Okay, on to round two. We're going to chain two, one, two, does not count as a stitch. This helps us get above this so it doesn't just keep going into a circle. Um, yeah, so now on to round. Okay, so we did the chain two. This is row two. Now we're going to do one double crochet into the same stitch. So this is the stitch that counts, not the chain two. Okay, so it looks like there's two there, but we're only counting this one. All right, now we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch. We're going to do this six times. So it's two in this one, two in this one, two in this one, two in this one, so forth and so on. Okay, now I will do this with you. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, and ta-da, there's one. There's two. Kind of looks like a V stitch, but it's not. Now we go into the next stitch. There's one. And there's two. So you can tell them apart there. I'm just gonna pull some yarn here. Okay. Next stitch. One, two. So that was three. One, two, three. And we're gonna go faster here. Four, five, I think, 
I'm always double counting. One, two, three, four, five. One more. And six. Okay. So now, see how that looks? Okay. We're going to do um, one double crochet into the next two stitches. So we got one, two. That was one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then we're going to decrease. We're going to do five double crochets together. So one, two, three, four, and five are going to be together, which is going to be the decrease. We're bringing, we're bringing it in. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through two, keep those on, yarn over, go to the next stitch, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over, next stitch. This is three. Four. Remember, we could tell by how many loops are on here. And then this one. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, so now you can see how it's starting to take shape again. Now, next step is one double crochet into the next two stitches. So this is our last stitch from our decrease. So we're going to go to this one over here. That's one. And the next stitch is another one now just like on this side we're going to go on this side we're going to do two double crochets in the next seven stitches so remember it was one two one two 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 for seven stitches Insert the hook, and that's one, and that's two. Go to the next stitch, that's one, and that's two. Let me get some yarn here. Oops. I'm going to come up a little bit so I don't make you dizzy as I speed crochet here. But that was two of them, and we got to go to seven. So this is... Someone's out on their little odyssey in the snow. That was that sound that went by. This is... Four. Five. Six. And seven. Okay. Now we should, we're coming up to the end of it. And uh, we will be changing colors. Me, I connected my next color because uh, <laughs> I already recorded this. And then, for some reason, the I lost it. 
<laughs> I've lost half of the video, so I have, I'm redoing this again. But it's okay, because you're worth it. Um, so, but I will explain how to do everything step by step. Where were we? Ah, so we're going to do one double crochet into the next eight stitches. One double crochet into the next eight stitches. This is three, four, five, six, seven, On this row, this always happens to me, but we're going to, was it eight? One moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my bad, my bad. Ooh, no. We are doing one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So, yes, so here's our stitch marker. This is the seventh because we're going to increase by doing five double crochets into that um, bottom of the heart. So this was one double crochet into the seven stitches. And now we're doing five double crochets into this stitch. So this is one, two, I'm going to pull some yarn here, three, four, and five. And again, Mark your third stitch. So one, two, and three. Okay. Um, now we are doing one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So we just did here. We're going to go into this stitch here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. six, seven, and eight. That is the last one. Now, as you can see, we're at the end, okay? But we're on the second row, so we are going to change our color. Hmm. We're going to change our color and this is how we change our color. Now, I just pulled it back out. There's one more stitch left, correct? Okay. So, we go in and we're going to leave two stitches on our hook. Just like that. And I already have mine attached <laughs> to my... But I will use like this. We take the new color. Remember, there's two loops on the hook. We go over. Go slow. And then you just pull the new color through the last two loops. And then pull your old string. 
then grab your new and then you're going to slip stitch with your new into that first stitch over here okay so let me go back to where I was sorry now what I did on mine particular was I did the magic sorry about that the magic knot if you do not have to do that I will show you um, right now okay so for the magic knot you have one color there and one color there I grabbed the white and I grabbed the black um, basically you're going to take the one color now this is how I do it you can do it any way you desire you come under it and you're basically just making just like tying your shoelaces I hope you can see it through my fat fingers the black is running through this one and we just make that tight now we're going to take this one and do the same exact thing over here we make sure that this color is running through and then we make a little loop and pull it tight okay so we have a, a knot and a knot now we take either side and we just pull and they get locked together just like that and then I bring it this way give it a quick little tug and I grab my scissors and I cut as close as I can to that knot and it's attached now I have to unattach it because I need that for later <laughs> and that's how I do that and I hope that helps somebody or uh, teaches you something that you didn't know already all right so now and it doesn't have to be perfect because it is a scrap uh, rug well, I can't think right okay okay and now we're going to slip stitch to join up here and for some reason my yarn is way longer but that's okay that's quite all right all right so row three is chain two again does not count as a stitch we're going to double crochet into the same stitch now we're going to increase and then do one double crochet in the next seven stitches so what that means is we're going to in the seven stitches we're going to do two double crochets one double crochet two double crochets one double crochet and so forth and so forth until you have seven of the double crochets like this so we're we we have one and here comes my new color and we have two right then the next one is a regular one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets into the next stitch and you continue around seven times until you have seven of the doubles so this counts as one this counts as two we don't count the single in between so it's one two 
and then you keep going seven times of these. All right, and I will meet you. I'll do one more with you, and then I will meet you back at uh, the seventh one. So this will be a single. And this is a double. And this is our third double. Okay. And I'll meet you back at double number seven. Okay, so now we have the seven. Mm -hmm. Oh. We have one, two, mm -hmm. three. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do a quick voice over here. I had audio issues, but um, you're going to continue until you have seven increases and you land, you stop on the increase. And now we're going to do a five decrease uh, with double crochets together. So that's five double crochet decrease. Okay, so we're going to yarn over. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, just two. So we have two loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and go through the next stitch, pull through two. Now we have three loops. And keep going until we get through all five of the stitches. And in the end, and this is, okay, and now we have six loops on our hook so then we're going to yarn over and pull through all six uh, loops on the hook just like that okay now the next section is another increase I'm just showing, I'm just counting the rows right here. And then we, uh, I don't know what happened right there. Okay, so we're going to do increase, then double crochet into the next seven, just like on this side. So we're going to start off with two double crochets. I'm just moving this over. Two double crochets into this first stitch. It's like a mirror for the other side. You got two double crochets. Then it's a single double crochet. And then another double crochet. Two double crochets. and then one double crochet. And we're going to continue this until we have seven of the increases, the two double crochets in one stitch. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but it's just like the other side. It's a mirror of it. So we do double, single, double, single, and so forth. And I'll meet you back when we have seven. As you can see, the two. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ending on the two double crochets in the one stitch. Um, mm -hmm. two, do, 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 do. Where were we? So now we are going to do one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the stitch marker. Whoop, whoop. My fingers didn't want to work on that one. And we're going to double crochet right 
up to the stitch before the marker. And we are almost there. Now you could do any color. I will have a few examples um, put in. And uh, depending on when I edit, if it still looks dark with the bulky yarn, I may just continue showing you with this type of yarn. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So now that we are one before the stitch marker, uh, we're going to again do an increase. Five double crochets into this stitch. I apologize about the dogs. They, uh, <laughs> I just, oop, and my phone. Ay, ay, ay. I had just made some bacon, and now they're like all hyper and walking all over the house. Okay, so this is three, and they're dropping their toys. Four. And five. Okay. And again, we're going to put the stitch marker into the third. One, two, three. Just like that. My fingers didn't want to work. Okay, so I got the doggies to calm down. I turned the volume off on my phone. Hopefully we're good to go. <laughs> now, after we did the five in here, the increase, and we put the stitch marker back in, we're going to do one double crochet into every stitch until we get to the one right before this one. So... There's not many, so I will do them with you. If I go too fast, I'm sorry. I don't realize how it looks in the camera. Um, with my laptop today, there seems to be a lag. And I do apologize if it if I go too fast at times. You do have the option at the bottom of the video in the settings. You can change the speed to either faster or slower. It just means I'm going to talk really weird like this. <laughs> um, but let me know in the comments below if uh, if I'm going too fast for you with the with the stitches and and uh, let me know how you how you feel about this one. Okay, so I'm on the last stitch right now, as you can tell right here. And then, um, since it's the first row, we're not going to change colors. So we're just going to slip stitch to join into this one. Okay. So like I said, we're going to slip stitch to join. This is not a stitch. But we're going to go into the top of the real first stitch and slip stitch to join. Okay, again, a reminder how to see where you are. And my little notes, <laughs> sticky notes moved, so I can't tell where to stay. Um, this was round one, and then two, and then three. So we're working on round four right now. And surprise, surprise, we're going to chain two. and double crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to also do one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Okay, 